Hi everyone, this is Andy Bajarski with Bajarski Realty and in this video we're going to talk about uh, what kind of car you should be driving uh, in this business. And as you see the car in front of you, if, uh, if your car looks uh, something like that, then you're probably in the wrong business because you're not going to make, make any money showing up to a seller's house or meeting a buyer with a car like that. They're just going to want to deal with someone else. So please uh, be careful with the kind of car that you drive. Make sure it is presentable, make sure it is clean, washed, and uh, because again, uh, people do judge, and if they're going to see you driving a certain car, they're going to think that you're similar to your car, and they're going to want to probably find another agent with another company. So uh, this video will, will talk a little bit about uh, some things that you should have with respect to your car that will help you. Uh, become uh, more successful if, with your dealing. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and we're going to see uh, what some of these points are. So the first thing that you need to do is, is have your car professionally washed before showing houses, showing homes. So say you have an appointment and you're going to meet a client for the first time or maybe not your first time, you always want to have the car professionally washed before showing your home. Okay, because your client is probably going to at some point meet you by your car. You might have a discussion there and they're going to look at your car. So make sure it's clean. It must be clean. If it's dirty, they're going to, they're going to judge you. They're going to point fingers. They're going to talk behind your back. And it's, it's something that you don't want, something that you don't need. Could be a deal breaker for them. So always make sure that your car is professionally washed before you meet your, uh, meet with uh, your client to show homes. Uh, if you have, uh, oxidation on the paint of your car, I would consider painting your car. Now, if it's uh, looking like this, maybe you need to get a new car, but but um, you certainly, if you have a lot of oxidation, the car doesn't look nice, the paint is withered, it's chipped, and it's probably too toned, and, and it's just unprofessional. And if you have the money, I would certainly recommend you either wash your car if it's too, or, to, or paint your car. If it's too expensive to paint, maybe consider getting another car, a used car that might uh, cost the equivalent of having it repainted. That's going to be your call, but certainly if there's a lot of oxidation on the paint of the car, uh, see if you can get that fixed and remedied. Um, also, remove all the trash from the inside of your car when showing homes. Um, you might have a bunch of stuff in the back or in the front. Remove everything, all the trash. If you've gone to McDonald's and you've got a big trash can in the back with, uh, you know, wrappers, take all that out. Take a big, take a big uh, plastic bag and, and go into your car and, and haul everything away. Throw it all away. You don't want your car to be filled with trash. And that might not be you, but believe it or not, it is a lot of people. So uh, people are hoarders. They have stuff in the back. They have trash in the back. All of that needs to go. Remove all the items and clutter from the inside of the car when showing your homes. Okay, the last thing you want to do is to have a client come talk to you and, and you have all sorts of stuff in the back seat that uh, are clutter related and they you know feel that they can't sit in your car or they're going to have to worry about you know their comfort level or anything like that. So remove all of that. Make the car inviting. Okay, that's key. Remove the clutter, remove the trash. Also, have the interior vacuumed and shampooed when showing homes. You don't want to have a dirty car. Again, I keep harping on this, but it's so important. If you have, um, you know, the carpeting where your feet lay dirtied, have them vacuumed. Um, you could have cloth uh, seats, have those vacuumed. Uh, if you have kids and something is spilled and it's a big old stain, remove it. This is so important because how your car looks is a perception of the quality of work that you're going to be giving that client. That's what they're going to see in their eyes, in their mind. Okay, if your car's dirty, if you don't take care of your car, how are you going to take care of them? That's what's that's what's in their head. So all, don't give them that opportunity. Uh, also, WD-40 and armor all, all the tires when you're meeting your client and showing homes. Uh, having nice tires that look nice will make the car look nicer. And believe it or not, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing to have, and it's, um, it messes with their emotions. If they see a nice car with nice tires, they're going to think you're going to do a nice job. So uh, when you get your car washed professionally, make sure that whoever's washing it, that they armor all your, your tires as well. 
Uh, also, this is kind of important, but a lot of people forget. When you go out and show houses, make sure you have gas in your car. The last thing you want to do is show up to a house, go to the next house, and you run out of gas. It's an overlooked item that happens so often. Make sure that you have a full tank of gas or at least enough to show you know, houses if that's what you're going to do in a certain neighborhood. Sometimes you might show houses in a different city. It might be a 20-minute drive, okay? Or you might be, you know, 10-minute, 15-minute drive from house to house. And so, you know, you don't want to be put in a position where you have to tell the client, oh, let me stop by and get some gas, you know, and then put it on their time. They're not going to like that, and they're going to go with someone else. Don't do that. Make sure you have gas in the car when you're meeting your clients. Also, make sure there's no mechanical issues with your car, and make sure it runs. Last thing you want to do is, is have your car stop because you didn't change the oil or the sparks, spark plugs didn't work or what have you. You know, get your car mechanically sound. If you have a check engine light that's on, get it to the dealer. Uh, get it to a mechanic. Have it fixed. Do not have your car have issues when you're with your clients. So important. Okay. Also, make sure your car is not flashy looking. You know, um, uh, if it's uh, two-tone color, that's okay. But, you know... What, and what I mean by flashy is, is picture if you if you put your car with 10 other cars make sure, and you ask 100 people which one's the flashiest, make sure your car doesn't get picked out. You can kind of, you know, we can go on and on and on and talk about that. But just uh, avoid certain things like, you know, in the series Chips, if you ever used to watch that episode, sometimes you would see these big dice hanging from the from the rearview mirror, you know, and, and just avoid stuff, you know, multi different uh um, colors or, or seat covers that are leopard skin, stuff like that, I suppose. You know, something that would, would allow somebody to, to point at it and to notice it. If they can point and notice it, it's probably flashy. Again, be conservative with your car, the same with your clothing, clothing and your appearance. And you're going to have to decide what, what flashy is. So, also, avoid riding motorcycles. Um, if you don't have a car and all you have is a motorcycle, you know, so be it, but do your best to get a car. If you show up in a motorcycle, I think that's a, that's a big turnoff, big, big, uh, um, you know, the client's going to look at you and they're going to go with somebody else. So, you know, you're better off borrowing a car from, from, from a relative or a friend than to, you know, showing up in a, in a big hog ride, you know, or <laughs> big motorcycle, um, you know, honking your horn. That's, that's going to be a big no, no. So, uh, and whatever you do, do not ever, 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 Take the client into your car. They always follow you in their car. Don't do it. Okay, I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Do not ever let anybody get into your car. Do not drive them into your in your car. That's a big no-no. It's done for insurance purposes, and it's done for your protection. So um, you could be in a car accident. Uh, maybe they have kids. The kid maybe hits you in the, from the back. Uh, could be all... Uh, all sorts of different things could pop up. And so just don't do it. It's a policy that I have with my company. Do not take a client into your car ever, whether it's a seller, buyer. Uh, no, it's a work-related event, and there's a tremendous amount of liability that's involved if there is an accident or something happens. So please, don't take the client into your car. And I guess what I would say to you is, you know, in closing, is, is don't have a car like this. Um, do what you need to do to have a clean car. Make sure that the outside is washed. Make sure that there's no trash on the inside. There's no clutter there. Make sure it's mechanically sound, that you have gas and uh, shampooed and cleaned, and you're going to be okay. Now, it doesn't matter if your car is old. You could have an older car. That's okay, too. You don't need to have a new car. You don't need to have a fancy car like a Mercedes or a BMW. It doesn't matter the quality of the car, uh, just as long as it's reliable. Uh, and I would also even say to you, if you have more than one car, and one car is a really nice car, like a Mercedes or, or a BMW, and the other one is not so nice, maybe it's a, like a Honda or a Toyota or something, I, I would show up with the less uh, nicer car. Because, again, people will judge. And if you show up with an $80,000 Mercedes, they might feel intimidated. You know, they might say, oh my gosh, this guy is this, or this, this person's blah, blah, blah. And, and you don't want to give them any reason. Just like with the clothing video and how you should present you know, yourself when you dress. Don't give anybody any reason to point fingers or to, to find an excuse to not use you. So uh, that might be one of them. So anyway, hope this video helped. And um, I'm off to the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.